it, if you will. Okay, so the holidays <laughs> can definitely be a hectic and crazy time for us. But how do you stay organized? Well, joining me right, right now is Lisa Woodruff. She is a professional organizer. First of all, Lisa, how do you become a professional organizer? Thanks for having me on, Sean. Well, thanks for being here. <laughs> um, to become a professional organizer, really, I like to help people problem solve and come up with schedules and solutions that fit their life. And I started doing that with all my friends, and soon people started to ask me if I would come do it for them. Your phone has to be ringing off the hook, especially this time of year, right? Actually, I am surprised. People are calling me, and they're like, I have to get organized sure. by January 6th. I'm yeah. like, do you realize Christmas is in there? Right. Well, if they can't get a hold of you, they can be watching the segment. Now, let's talk a little bit about um, how you can stay organized. As far as, let's start with the schedule. How can we keep a regiment going? Right. I have children. They are 11 and 12. And one thing I've learned about the holidays is the more you can stick to your schedule, the better. So if you're going to be out to a holiday party till midnight, sure. and let's say you're used to being home at 8, mm -hmm. don't schedule three of those in a row. Okay. And the other thing is take any um, medicines that you need or vitamins or special foods that your kids need with you okay. so that when they're hungry, they can eat. You don't have to wait till the 8 o'clock dinner time. So thinking ahead there, especially for mm -hmm. the, the party planner, sure. Right. Well, talking a little bit about um, making a, a list. For, for me, yeah. just in general, I, I'll make a list to keep myself a little bit organized. I don't right. always abide by it, but I at least try to make a checklist. Is, is that something that could help? Yeah, you can make a checklist, but what I like are visual lists. Okay. So just grab some of these cute little bags and designate one for all of the activities that you're going to be doing over the holidays. So this one is going to my mother-in-law's. I need to remember to put the little gifts in there. I already have um, the Christmas cards in there. Um, the appetizer that I'm going to make is already in there. So that morning, I'll check that bag, pull that out, make that appetizer. Well, speaking of appetizers, yeah. there's a lot of meals that go on during the holiday. What, what do you think about that? Because that could be stressful, too. You've got dishes. You've got... Right. A lot more dishes if you have family over. How right. do you handle that? So two things. One, my kids have had food allergies in the past, so keep some foods with you that are good for your family. Okay. And then use paper plates and plastic and all that yes. at home. So yes. any event that is not like a holiday dinner with the china, yes. just do quick and easy. Just throw it away. Definitely. That's right. Okay. Right cash cash not clutter give cash not clutter right. explain behind that okay so i'm an organizer yes you are okay Professional. so <laughs> right <laughs> so you're going to go out you're going to buy baskets and things to store your kids art supplies their makeup things like that okay and then you go oh i don't want to give them this empty container mm -hmm. i should fill it with like dollar store stuff or more makeup no don't fill it with more stuff just take dollar bills and fill it with dollar bills. There's $20 right there. They could go buy their own makeup. They can have fun, you know, at the after holiday sales. And you're not adding more clutter when you're giving an organizational gift to begin with. I think that's great. You want to give me a box with a bunch of cash in it? I'm, I'm all for it. I really am. I hope that my... My, uh, my, my parents are definitely <laughs> watching it, and, and that's what we can go with. Hey, check a look at the, uh, the screen there. If you do want to get those updates, she's got them right there of how to stay organized this holiday season. Thanks.